Fire that started at the oil base in Proltarsk city in Russia's Rostov region following the Ukrainian army's drone strike nine days ago still continues, local telegram channels reported. According to the reports, the fire has spread to the new oil tanks, and the reservoirs that were on fire the previous days have completely burnt out. It should be noted that the fire covered an area of more than 10,000 square meters in the first days. There were a large number of injured people among the firemen involved in extinguishing the fire. In the following days, the fire spread from the oil base area to residential areas. Currently, the scale of the fire has decreased. Russia's Black Sea resort city Sochi is battling heavy weather conditions. Heavy flooding and storms have crippled the city, with crowds of people stranded in airport as planes cannot make landing, local telegram channels reported. Twenty planes heading to the resort city could not make landing and were sent to alternate airports in other cities. Presently, they are flying back to Sochi airport. A large number of queues have been formed at the airport. Some passengers were stuck in the airport for around five hours, according to some telegram reports. All beaches in the city have been shut down. According to forecasters, the hurricane will last until Monday. It's not ruled out that tornadoes will be formed over the sea. However, some tourists chose to ignore all the prohibitions and continue swimming in the sea and sailing on yachts. Маша, вы смотрели вот эти волны, которые я снимаю? Они прямо волны. Ой, зонтики! Может, вы смотрели вот эти волны, которые я снимаю? Они прям огромные. Начинается, народ сваливает. Исход народа с пляжа. Уже доски какие-то валяются.